What's up guys, Ace here, and today I wanted to just talk about Black Ops 4 and how it's turning out to be and how I think about it after we've seen gameplay and we've gotten trailers and everything and it's been a couple days since all of that happened and we've seen some gameplay from other people and um, what's going on with the game and what other people think also. So I wanted to just share my thoughts on how it like, you know, looked and felt and uh, obviously I haven't played it yet, <clears throat> but um, from what I've seen, I can kind of make some, you know, ju judgments about the game so far. And right now, <clears throat> it seems like the game is fluid. It works. It uh, feels, or like, it looks to feel really good. Um, obviously, it's a bit of a copy of Black Ops 3 without uh, exo jumping, but still, it seems like it's a really fluid and fun game. I had a lot of fun with Black Ops 3. And it seems like this is going to be the same thing as well. Uh, there's a lot of things that they kept the same, like specialists. There's a lot of the same specialists in this game. There's a lot of same, uh, a lot of the same abilities and weapons that they had. They have like a lot of animations, like the shotgun animations, feel like they're the same. The KRM and the sh new shotgun that they have, like it, it seems like it has the same like weapon cock sound, like. Um, animation for every shot and it just seems a lot like they i don't know they didn't have enough time or something i'm not sure exactly what went on here i feel like they could have done a better job with that but regardless like if you don't look at that kind of stuff and you look at it as just like a standalone game it's it looks pretty fluid it looks nice it looks fun and it looks fresh and we've only really seen stuff for multiplayer we don't even know about the rest of the game <clears throat> so multiplayer like, I, obviously, I, I'm a little bit more interested in zombies and the Battle Royale mode, but multiplayer, it seems fun, it seems cool, like, they have a lot of the elements from other games also, like Rainbow Six Siege and Overwatch and stuff, it kind of like the 5v5 more tactical sort of shooter, it seems like it's a little bit more similar to those kind of games, and <clears throat> that's not necessarily a bad thing for us consumers, but... Looking at it and seeing that they kind of did the same sort of formula as other games, it seems like, you know, they don't really have as much innovation, but at the same time, they've added a lot of stuff, like the self-healing mechanic and everything, and that's new, <clears throat> and I actually am all for that, because I want something new. I don't want to play the same Call of Duty game with the same exact thing every single year, because uh, people know that this game is getting stale, it's getting old, it's the same thing every single year, and it can't be fun like that. And having something new would be awesome. And even for <clears throat> stuff like remasters, if we go on a different trend for Call of Duty, if we have a different formula for the new games, it would be nice to get remasters of old games to like remind us how it was. So like, if Modern Warfare 2 is really getting remastered next year, it's going to be a lot more of a fun experience because we've played this new game with this new style of combat with, like, the additional healing stuff that you don't regenerate health automatically and then you have <coughs> a lot of these other features in this game such as like grappling and stuff which is crazy i think the last game that had a grappling in call of duty was advanced warfare and i thought that was really fun but um that game you know obviously didn't do as well as the other call of duty games but <coughs> with this being treyarch i have a lot more faith in this game that it's gonna be fun regardless of how it seems right now, because the trailer on honestly wasn't that good. I don't know what's up with this year's trailers. Battlefield 5's trailer was also really not so good at explaining how this game's different or better than the other Call of, or Battlefield games. And with the same thing with Black Ops 4's trailer, it wasn't as good in showing what's going on in, the, in this game. But um, <clears throat> anyway, let's focus a little bit more on zombies and... The battle royale scene uh zombies is seeming really nice i love the fact that um they're adding this thing called like mutator settings or i'm not exactly sure if they use that same word but you can change stuff like how trainable those zombies are and how hard they are to kill and stuff i feel like that's awesome because that makes replayability so much better <clears throat> and you can make so many different challenges and stuff with that and it, it can be so much fun plus they have three maps on launch which is crazy they are having a remaster of you know um 
Blood of the Dead, or Mob of the Dead, which is Blood of the Dead, which is great, and they're adding a new story, which I know other people don't really uh, like the idea as much. I'm all, I, I like that, because you can't have something, like, I'm, I love the original four characters as much as the next guy, but you need to have something new, and you need to, like, not have something every, like, even if you like something, you can't have it every single three years, and expect to love it as much every single time, so I feel like them taking a break, maybe adding those characters in for every other map or something like that would be awesome, because uh, we all love those characters, but if Treyarch made us love those characters in World at War, they can make us do it, do it again with these characters, if they want to, because even with, like, Shadows of Evil when that happened, people didn't really like the idea of, like, a new storyline, but it kind of bonded with the original core storyline and we come to we came to love that map as well so i think that's a good idea that they're adding plus it's not only one other map it's two other maps so it's gonna be interesting i feel like again the trailer didn't do a good job of telling the story because it was cool it looked interesting but it, at the same time it looked really confusing so zombies i'm really excited for with all those uh new settings new stuff and i just kind of hope that they don't have stuff like gobble gums and um double pack a punch i just felt like that really took away from the gameplay in black ops 3. like i know gobble gums kind of adds an extra flair to the game but at the same time i don't like the fact that it like changes up the leaderboards and like you could say that yeah we're not going to use you don't have to use the gobble gums in your own gameplay but like leaderboards and like other people are going to always use them and it's just I, I don't know i just feel like it throws off the game and then with uh double pack a punch i just feel like there needs to be good and bad weapons, and with Double Pack a Punch, that's not a thing. Like, all all the guns are basically the same at that point, and it just does not feel good. At least to me. Um, but that's just kind of my own personal take on, like, what, what was wrong with Black Ops 3 Zombies. But, and also, one more thing is, <clears throat> I feel like they need to find a balance between gameplay and, like, replayability and story, because I feel like... Black Ops 3 was a really nice story, but I feel like maps in Black Ops 2 were a lot more replayable, if that makes sense. I feel like Origins is a much more replayable map than something like Zetsubo no Shima, because you have to really set up in that map, and then Origins, I feel like you can get right into it, and it's not really a tedious and hard setup, and it's not really like, it's fo there's a lot of story in that map as well, but like, I feel like it was balanced really well in that map, because there was so much to do even afterwards, um, even after you finished, or no, well, I mean, after the Easter egg kind of ended, but, um, there's just so much to do on that map, and I just hope that this game finds a really good balance in between Black Ops 2 and stuff like that. I, I feel like that would be really awesome, and then Battle Royale, I'm really excited for that. For, I'm, I really enjoy the fact that it's, uh, gonna be a first-person Battle Royale game. <coughs> they said that, uh, recently. And I like that idea. Because Fortnite is third person, and it's, it would be nice to get a first person one with, like, I guess more realistic weapons, not building, no building, and uh, just a more realistic atmosphere. As cool as, and fun as Fortnite is, it's, it's not, like, the more, I guess, serious and sort of tone that, I guess, that Battlegrounds has. So it would be nice to have something like that on console with Call of Duty with the triple A, like, publisher they're gonna have a battle royale game and there's gonna be so much in that map i'm not sure how big the map is we don't really know yet but um it's supposed to be 1500 times bigger than nuketown and it, like that sounds really cool but um we don't know a lot yet we can uh play as I, i'm pretty sure we were allowed to play as like zombie characters and stuff as well which is just crazy and there's gonna be weapons and people from all of treyarch games and it just makes me super excited for this and it just looks really awesome with like land vehicles, air vehicles, sea vehicles, like, everything's really in that mode, and it just seems like it's gonna be, like, your all-in-one experience, and I feel like Black Ops 4 is just that kind of going for that all-in-one experience, like, that service sort of experience where they're gonna keep updating it, hopefully, I want them to do that, <clears throat> and they're gonna, like, keep making a better game, and, like, with the sacrifice of a campaign, I feel like that made it, you know, all like all the other modes get like that extra benefit with multiplayer having you know this entire story behind all the characters Z zombies having like three maps on launch i'm guessing more maps later on and the multiplayer maps 
are going to be free and there's probably going to be like a season pass for zombies and then the whole battle royale mode because that's a lot more replayable than the campaign i'm pretty sure for most people and so i feel like that's going to be really fun i want to know what you guys think in the comments down below and uh if you're going to be getting black ops 4 or not because i i really think that it could be a really nice game like obviously we have to wait for the beta to come out because that's going to really tell us how it's going to be but yeah that's going to be it and i'll see you guys in the next video hopefully with some other stuff and yeah that's that'll be it and i'll see you guys in the next video Bye bye